Hi, it's Miss Kelly. I'm gonna. Um, this is the second video that I'm making to show you how to work on things in the Chrome Music Lab, a very fun free music activity um, that you can do on your computer. Uh, I already showed you how to do the rhythm module, so I hope you'll check that video out too. This one is gonna be about Melody Maker. So it's over here with the uh, blocks that are going down different colors. So when I click on that, it opens up this page. I like to just play on the top half, honestly, because way down here on the bottom, it's quite low. And if I try to sing my melody that I make, um, I don't like to sing low. Um, so that is where I usually start. That is called do, that sound. Um, and so usually songs start and end on do, so I'm just gonna maybe put my first one and my last one on do. The other ones I can just kind of, I don't know, play around. So now I've got do, re, mi, and then maybe so, la, so, mi, do. Let's see. Wow, that's fast. I think that they always make the this little sliding thing go kind of in the middle of between the guy that's running and the guy that's walking. I think their tempo, tempo is the speed of the beat in music. Their tempos are always very fast. So usually I just go all the way down to that end of the guy that's walking because I like to have time to really hear what I made. Okay, I mean, it's like kind of cool. You might want to experiment and play around with making your sounds, um, you know, in different patterns like that. Mine, as you can see, is a pretty even looking uh, pattern, which I think is good for music a lot of times, but it doesn't have to be that way. So you can put your sounds wherever you like, listen to it. If you want to change it around and see if you like that one better, that would be fine. If you want to see what it sounds like super fast, you can just go ahead and do that. Okay, like I told you, I, I like mine to be mostly slower. You might wonder what that button next to the play button is for. So you can find out by clicking it and playing. So it actually takes my pattern that I make and I, it moves it over in time. And then it creates some cool, what we call harmonies when you have more than one musical sound playing at the same time. Um, but if you don't want the harmonies, you just click off of that and you'll just get back to your melody. So I hope you'll have fun trying this and maybe send me what you make and um, I'd love to hear. Okay, bye.